Hope Medicine Inc. or HopeMed, a clinical stage innovative biopharmaceutical company, has recently announced that the company completed its Phase 1B study, which is called an open label study to evaluate safety, tolerability, and efficiency in men and women with androgenic alopecia, and they're treated with HMI 115 or 115 over a 24 week period. There is a new hair loss treatment with great potential being developed as you are watching this video right now. HMI 115 is being developed by Hope Medicine, which is a monoclonal antibody treatment that targets the prolactin receptor. And if you don't know, prolactin is a hormone that is traditionally known for its role in lactation, but also plays a part in hair follicle biology. By targeting the prolactin receptor, HMI potentially interrupts the pathway that can lead to hair loss. And in the context of hair follicles, prolactin influences the hair growth cycle. Each hair follicle goes through a growth cycle that includes a phase of growth, the anagen phase, a regression, the catagen, and the rest, which is the telogen phase. Prolactin can affect these phases, potentially leading to hair loss or even impaired hair growth when its activity is abnormal. But by targeting the prolactin receptor with a monoclonal antibody like HMI, the treatment aims to block the action of prolactin on hair follicles. This could potentially normalize the hair growth cycle, reduce hair loss, and even promote new hair growth. As I said before, HMI has already passed phase one trial. And in the phase one B trial, HMI showed amazing results. The study was led by Professor Rodney Sinclair, and it included 12 male and four female patients in Australia with androgenic alopecia. As I said, HMI demonstrated extremely positive results, and it is also safe and well tolerated. Specifically in the 12 male patients at the end of the trial, the mean non vellus targeted area hair count, or the TAHC, increased by 14 hairs per square centimeter. Compared to that of the base, this increase is statistically significant, indicating an apparent confidence of treatment effect. And if you remember the studies from KX or pyrolutamide from Kenzo, they actually had a TAHC of 15 hairs per square centimeter. And back then, the internet worked crazy for the results of KX. So just the fact that HMI is being comparable to KX is amazing enough in itself. So after this amazing trial, HopeMed is now going to initiate the phase two trial of HMI. This phase two trial is of course a critical step in the development of HMI as it will provide more comprehensive data on the treatment's effectiveness and potential side effects over a 24 week period of treatment. The trial aims to enroll around 180 participants which should offer a robust data set for analysis. And of course, let's all hope that it will go way better than Kinsos trial written, which was a complete bust. But this new kind of treatment is super interesting, not only because it potentially offers me and you a new possibility of targeting androgenic alopecia, but also because it highlights the approach of hair loss being a multi-dimensional problem, not only affected by our testosterone or the DHC or even inflammation, but many other factors. Once again, it reinforces my own recommendation of living a healthy lifestyle to prevent hair loss. Since prolactin can be brought down by just getting enough sleep, a diet consisting of less processed foods and exercising regularly and keeping your body fat percentage in the lower ranges. I said this a dozen times before, but I strongly believe that hair loss is affected much more by lifestyle than just the generic ordinary medicine and supplements that you and me can go out just and take. And the approach of using monoclonal antibodies to target a specific receptor linked to hair loss is somewhat novel in the field of androgenic alopecia treatments. 
if successful, HMI could offer a new type of treatment options for those experiencing this common form of hair loss with androgenic alopecia. And as with all kinds of these trials, the outcome of phase 2 trial will be crucial in determining the future potential of HMI as a viable treatment for androgenic alopecia. But of course, all of this is only going to work if you keep your DHT and androgenic exposure under control. And this is why I've created this video for you to learn more about how to do that so that you have a better chance of fighting off your own hair loss problems with the right tools.